Thank you, Mr. Shatner, for taking the time to do this interview. And uh, I'd like to ask you about, you know, this, this new work with uh, The Unexplained. Your most iconic role as Captain Kirk was out there exploring the unknown. And now you are once again exploring the unknown. What is it with yes. the unknown that provokes you? And how different it is for this time around with The Unexplained? I don't know. I'm joking. It was part of it. <laughs> uh, what, what, it's the same curiosity uh, about uh, everything about us. Uh, we live in a mystery. Uh, we don't know why we're here, where we're going, uh, why the uh, universe is expanding, and why a man who is in a coma wakes up from the coma and is able to play a uh, concert piano without ever having touched the piano before. So these large mysteries, these small mysteries, they're uh, inexplicable, they're unexplained. And we, uh, uh, our show is all about these wonderfully intangible mysteries that uh, there doesn't seem to be an answer for, although some of them are tantalizingly close to being answered. Okay, I'd like to, to talk a little bit about Star Trek here, because there's some talk about Quentin of Tarantino course. wanting to, to do a Star Trek movie. And he said he loves you, you said you love him, and you were willing to come back. And I wonder, what do you think should be Captain Kirk's next step in the universe? Do you have any ideas on what to explore with the character next? Uh, there is um, there is so much... Uh, uh, to explore in the universe, uh, Salvatore, uh, the universe is unknown to us. I think what Captain Kirk would be interested in is what is dark matter and dark energy. Uh, this is, apparently, it's composed 95% of the universe, and we don't even know what it is. 